Welcome to MarcusG.TV. This is exciting. I'm doing a list on the top 50 mistakes I see independent restaurant owners make. I'm an independent restaurant owner myself, and I've made these mistakes. I'm on mistake number 49, almost done to 50. 50 is going to be a good one. 50 is going to be a good one. They're all, they've all been really awesome. But the last few from 43 to 50 have been all about employee management, hiring the right people, how to hire, questions to ask, you know, um, how to get people to do more work, how to communicate more often, and that's where your job is going to become easier. So 43 through 49, extremely important. They're all important. The marketing stuff, it all goes hand in hand. It's one step after another here. So I'd suggest you not just skip to one or two things if you want the full effect of this. You watch everything. This will be in print soon, by the way, too. So, number 49, number the 49th mistake I see restaurateurs making. They don't play games with their staff. It's great to staff train, it's great for seminars, it's great, but you need to get them involved and play games. There needs to be rewards. Not every game is a reward, though, so you need to be able to be creative. There's lots of books out there, like Games Trainers Play. It was a great book. There's, you can Google things now. I mean, I was using that book long before the days of the Internet. Games Trainers Could Play. Um, but there's tons of games, just Google it and you'll find stuff. I'll help you with that kind of stuff. Get your staff involved, do initiatives, whether it's lottery tickets, whether it's a free meal, whether it's a gift certificate to your restaurant, to another restaurant, trade out with other restaurants, barter gift certificates with other restaurants. It's a simple thing to do. Treat them, show them you respect them, and they will respect you. It's that simple. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano, thanks for watching. So I've been running my restaurant Aroma Time for 10 years in the Hudson Valley, and I used to be one of those restaurant owners that was married to my business, couldn't leave, the restaurant wouldn't be open if I wasn't here, I didn't trust anybody, I turned everything around. I've been here 10 full years, like I've said, I've defeated all the odds, I opened up this fine dining restaurant, upscale restaurant, in a small, depressed community. Um, I've learned a lot. I've made a lot of mistakes, and that's how I can confidently say I can help you. I can switch that mindset. I can teach you uh, tips and techniques that I've learned by doing it myself and then masterminding with some of the top restaurateurs in the country and marketing geniuses. It's been a great 10-year run. I don't regret a single part of it. Now the thing is I work on my business. I don't work my business, which is a totally different thing. I can teach you how to do that. It's so simple with the tips and tools and techniques. Um, owning a restaurant can be a lot of fun and I want to show you how to have fun in your restaurant. So please, send me an email, 